it's time to get back to football with the UTSA Roadrunners. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the UTSA Dynasty. We are just underway here in Season 3 as UTSA has began the year off at 1-1 one and one with wins over a win over Colorado and a loss against Houston. And today they take on a non-conference opponent in Louisiana Tech as they'll travel on the road to attempt to go to 2-1 and one on the season. It's been an exciting year already to watch Evan Newton in this more... It's actually a lot older squad now, a lot of seniors on this roster, and it's been fun to watch this team grow, and now some new blood is in there with uh, the old veterans on this team, ready to make UTSA make some noise in Conference USA as we head on over to the stadium for this Week 3 matchup here in the NCAA as UTSA looks to rebound, and they will begin the game on offense. Evan Newton, the exciting young freshman quarterback out of Georgia, is under center on second down and long, and he will hook up with Kenny Harrison over the middle for 10 yards, bringing UTSA close to a first down, and his third down and three. Great protection for Newton. He fires downfield, and it is hauled in again by Kenny Harrison, looking to his senior slot receiver for two plays already in this game, and they have a first down. But Anthony Banks takes the handoff out of the shotgun and goes to sweep it outside, and he has stopped the line of scrimmage. And that will help set up a third down and 10 now for Evan Newton in the pocket. Off balance throw is in the ground. A Donovan McNabb-esque throw there as that one had no shot. I mean, Evan Newton didn't have a ton of pressure getting at him. It was pretty good blocking by the offensive line. But still, you got to have your footwork right if you want to throw a solid pass. And that was not a solid pass by Evan Newton. And so Louisiana Tech takes over on offense. Quarterback Scotty Young in the game. Lobs it left side and goes up and makes the catch. That is Horn. What a terrific catch by Jason Horn, the 6'7 freshman wide receiver. That is a tall guy out there. Second down and 10 for Scotty Young again. In the pocket over the middle. He hooks up with Cooley. He's got a first down in deep into UTSA territory. He is down at the 20 and now Louisiana Tech is in striking distance on third down and 10. Young will throw again. Extra men in the block. He throws to the end zone and it is dropped. How do you drop that catch? Brian Walker was wide open. He ran a terrific wheel route here up the left side. Got behind the safety and just, just nobody really contesting this catch. It's touching both of his hands. He just could not handle it. And so Louisiana Tech settles for a field goal and they would make UTSA punt on their next possession. So they have the ball third down and short. Hunter Lee up the gut. He gets the one yard needed and then some as he crosses into UTSA territory. And now Young back out of the shotgun. Empty backfield. Throws left side. It's caught by Cooley again. He's got about nine and a half yards, close to the 35-yard line, setting up second down and inches. Blitz by Cody Rogers. It's a fumble, and the ball goes right up in the air, straight up, and it's it's picked up by a lineman. Just went up and snagged it, and wow, what a hit by Rogers! And now it's third down and six for Young. Back in the pocket, great protection on this play. Only a three-man rush goes long to the end zone. Nearly intercepted. He wanted to hit Lloyd Grogan on that play. Double covered. He didn't ever had a chance of that one and it's still a three-point game late in the first quarter for Evan Newton throws over the middle short it's caught by Freeman at the first down marker and he will convert for UTSA bringing up a new set of downs second down and six and the handoff is to Banks out of the shotgun trying to move up the left side not a lot of running room he's out of bounds at the 40 and so third down and two for Evan Newton looking to throw he finds Anthony Banks a nice spinning grab at the 45 and he has a first down to the 48 yard line towards left sideline as we have 535 to go in the second quarter Evan Newton back to throw rolling outside to his left maybe looking to scramble picking up a block and out of bounds he goes with the 40 yard line smart move to stick it out of bounds instead of taking the hit and they're in Louisiana Tech territory on third down and five Evan Newton looking to throw waiting and now running and taking off to the first down marker throws last second it's caught first down Cam Jones what a decision by Evan Newton to throw at the last second but now on third down and 13, Newton in the pocket, and he finds Harrison underneath. Just ran a short little curl route, and he gets the first down yardage, and that sets up first down inside the red zone. Newton, end zone, touchdown! Tim Whitaker, the freshman, the freshman to freshman connection right there, as Evan Newton gets his sixth touchdown pass on the season. A beautiful strike to Tim Whitaker, and it's 7-3 to three now in favor of our beloved Roadrunners, as Hunter Lee on our next possession for Louisiana Tech. That that screen pass could have been disastrous. Almost got tackled immediately, but escaped the tackler and ended up getting a first down. It's now third and four for Scotty Young. He will throw over the middle. It's caught by Jason Horn. He's got a first down in the UTSA territory. Good protection on the offensive line on that play. 
And a lot of the pistol full houses. Scotty Young, plenty of protection, but Mark Harrington just drops the pass. He was wide open. He beat the defender on the play, uh, running a crossing route. Then on third and three, they run a little jet sweep with Lloyd Grogan coming in motion, and that had no shot. So a long field goal attempt now, as this one is up. It's sailing and off the crossbar. Just no good, and UTSA gets excellent field position with a minute 16 to go in the first half. And Newton keeps it on the quarterback option, and he will get about eight yards. And now it is third down and short, and Newton will throw over the middle. He's got his man, Cam Jones first down across midfield there in Louisiana Tech territory and have one timeout with 29 seconds to go. Newton on second down now evading the rush but he goes down. It's going to be a loss of about six in the play as Louisiana Tech is having a lot of success in the first half getting pressure on Evan Newton. It's third down and 15. Newton goes long on the left side. It's picked off at the 13 yard line intended for wide receiver Cam Jones. And that will take us to halftime now as that was just a desperation hail Mary by Evan Newton. There are his stats on the, the game so far. 13 of 17 and that interception and a touchdown of course. And we head out to the second half now as UTSA is on defense. Louisiana Tech with the football. Hunter Lee out of the shotgun off tackle he's got a first down running to the 30 yard line of Louisiana Tech a good start to this opening possession of the second half it is now first and five and Grogan over the middle has a catch close to midfield on the slant fitted in between two defenders did Scotty Young and it was a very nice play for a first down and now Young going along on the wheel route and it's nearly picked off as the safety just got over there in time to knock it away and that sets up third down and four. Louisiana Tech, if they got a first down, will be on the edge of field goal range. They'll run option right side. Pitch to Hunter Lee. No chance at all. John Walker tackled him in the backfield for a loss of about six in the play as UTSA's defense comes off of the field. And now Evan Newton comes out to begin the second half of play. Second and 13. Newton over the middle. He has Cam Jones underneath. They're giving him a lot of yards over the middle underneath, it seems, in this game. And now it is third down and four. Newton out of the gun quick pass right side it's nearly jumped and picked up intended for cam jones both defenses playing pretty well so far in this game as utsa punts it away now sitting back at his own 31 yard line as hunter lee starts up the middle a spin move a broken tackle across midfield a great return by hunter lee about 26 yards as louisiana tech is now a first down away from being in field goal range as scotty young takes a snap on first and 10 great protection looking to step up in the pocket and throws last second it's picked off darian sterling at the 45 crossing midfield to the four and tackle at the 33 yard line it's UTSA football again and what a great turnover by the starting senior cornerback Darian Starling new set of downs first and 10 Evan Newton going to work he's got David Morgan deep post over the middle to the 10 yard line he was split out on the right side and he's got a first down inside the red zone now as Newton looks to put this one in the end zone on this drive but to do so, he will have to throw the ball 14 yards into the end zone on third down and long. Out of the shotgun he is. And he takes the snap and will throw. Incoming pressure. He's hit as he throws. Ball goes almost nowhere. And UTS will have to settle for a field goal as Newton is shaken up on the play, actually. But he, it looks to be pretty minor, and we'll see if he comes out later for this next UTSA possession. As UTSA now has a 10-3 lead as Louisiana Tech once again goes to work. They have a lot of like success on their own side of the field but as soon as they get to the UTSA 40 things keep going wrong for Scotty Young in this offense and once again Young goes an off balance throw and he's got Cooley for a first down very nice play as they are now on the UTSA side of the field new set of downs Scotty Young left side wide open is Mark Harrington he makes the catch and gets inside the 30 yard line before running out of bounds and they are now inside the UTSA 30. Scotty Young incoming pressure throws to the outside. It's picked off. Kyle Nichols. And UTSA's defense does it again on their own side of the field. Pressure mounting. They get another turnover on Scotty Young. And now UTSA is back with the football. David Glasgow up the middle of first down handoff. Third and two now for Newton under center. He has Glasgow behind him as the single back. And now Newton throws over the middle. He's got Jason Todd. He has a first down across the 40-yard line of Louisiana Tech. And UTSA gets a third down conversion with only 55 seconds to go in the second or the third quarter. David Morgan over the middle. He has a first down grab. And now UTSA is back inside the red zone for second down and 12. Hand off to Anthony Banks and no room to run. Louisiana Tech playing very good run defense in this game. And it's third. 
third and long as UTSA goes out to begin the fourth quarter. Evan Newton to throw. Stepping up in the pocket. Throws over the middle. It's caught by Cam Jones. He's got a first down. Tough running inside the five-yard line. And UTSA comes through with a big conversion. Again, a nice throw by Evan Newton. And now first down and goal. Twin tight ends. Newton draws them off sides. It's a free play. End zone. Incomplete. But UTSA will get half a distance to the goal. And have first down and goal repeated upcoming. So 6.40 to go. Out of the shotgun again is Evan Newton. Banks to his right. Fakes the handoff. Newton up the middle. Touchdown runners. As they take a 17-3 lead. Two scores now. 14 up. As the Birds could be looking at their second win if they can hold this lead over Louisiana Tech. But a very good drive there by Evan Newton. And now 6.37 to go for Scott Young. Plenty of time to go in this game. And they're having success in the passing game. But it's the turnovers are killing them on the other side of the field. They can play so well on their own 50. But it's a whole different story once Young is throwing on the opposite side. Young again hooks up with Lloyd Grogan, but UTSA clamps down. It's only a gain of six. They get three halves to the ball on that play. Second down and four, and Young will throw again. Great protection, and he threw a pick again. It's Kyle Nichols for the second time, and the sophomore has it at the 35-yard line of UT of the Louisiana Tech, rather, as UTSA can really pile it on now and put this game out of reach. Second and long, Banks gets the handoff. Block left side, and Daylight, a first down across the 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Anthony Banks. I believe that may be his first on the year. I could be wrong. I can't remember exactly. But it's 24 to 3 in favor of our Roadrunners. And there's only five and a half minutes to go. UTSA now is making Scotty Young pay for those interceptions. They're resulting in points. Now UTSA is finding the end zone. And they have a 21 point lead late in the fourth quarter. Scotty Young going along again. Cooley. This time he has a first down of the 20 yard line of UTSA. As they are now in striking distance. Second down and five. What do they have in store here? Screen pass right side. Hunter Lee breaks the tackle across the five and touchdown as the Bulldogs get back into this one quickly with Scotty Young finally having success on the UTSA side of the field. But now they have to stop Evan Newton in this running offense from running the clock out on second down and long. Glasgow gets maybe two yards up the middle, but it'll force third down and nine. And Newton is going to throw. It's a little bit risky, and Newton takes off to throw. Being chased, throws last second, and Harrison drops the pass. It may have resulted in a first down. Good throw by Newton, and the risk almost paid off there. It's 21-10. to 10. Mark Harrington over the middle. A throw behind him, and he turns around to make the grab. Very nice play. And that one will move the chain. Scotty Young again wide open as Hunter Lee breaks another tackle of first down and more out of bounds of the 31-yard line with three minutes to go. And now third and six for Scotty Young. Keeping in a lot of guys to block. Don't want Young being touched. Goes to the end zone. Nearly intercepted. It would have been the fourth time in this game. It will force a fourth down and six. It's do or die for the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs as Young takes the snap and looks downfield. He's going to look and throw to the right side. It's nearly picked off. Excellent coverage on the play. That was the senior Robert Singletary breaking it up. And now UTSA can run more clock. And if they can get first downs, they'll end this game effectively. Glasgow gets them close, and now third down and one. Newton, play action, running weak side, looking for the first down, throws it downfield, and caught by David Morgan. Louisiana Tech has to burn their final timeout, but UTSA has moved the chains, and they end the game, and UTSA wins 24-10 over the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. They moved to 2-1 and one on the season. Louisiana Tech moves to 0-2. Scotty Young, there you can see, he's very upset after this game. He played well at times, but the interceptions were just so killer. And UTSA got points off turnovers, which is ultimately what can really hurt a team. Next up, UTSA will take on the UMass Minutemen. And we'll see if UTSA can get their third win of the year, which would actually equal their highest win total of any year in this dynasty. I'll have recruiting in the next episode as well. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's my comeback after my vacation. And it's the first real commentary I've done in about a couple weeks now. And it's my first commentary with my Blue Yeti. So I'm sorry if there's any pops in this. I might have to invest in a pop filter. But tell me how the quality is, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, please. And thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for supporting the UTSA Dynasty. And just sit tight. There will be plenty more on the way. So have a great day, everybody. And I'll see you guys next episode.